Hey, 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 hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company Divas Wig. But before I get started on all the details, guys, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on because you don't want to miss out on any of my videos. Pretty sure you guys can tell from the headbands that this is going to be another headband wig video. This one is in the curly ombre style. And this one has a different type of cap construction. And when I mean different, the cap construction still has the two combs on the side, a comb in the middle, um, a comb in the back, and no adjustable strap, just your Velcro strap. The thing about this middle comb is that I noticed that it is further back versus the other headband wigs that I have reviewed where the comb is closer up to the headband. So we will see if that is going to cause a problem and then of course you get your velcro in the back to keep it secure this is an average cap size and it was really big on me it was very roomy in the crown area and also just all around the cap so i did have to go in and use those side combs and those were placed really far behind also so i had to keep pulling the wig up but it was becoming bulky at the top so i had to eventually sit it to a place where I was going to be comfortable still wearing the wig and showing you guys what the headbands and the style was going to look like. So one thing I will suggest is, if you are making a headband wig, you have to make them in different cap sizes because everybody's head is not the same and it's just really roomy back there, especially it doesn't have adjustable straps, it just has the Velcro strap. Curls out of the package were really tight. I did not go in and co-wash or anything. I'm just styling this straight out of the box. But I did want to pick them apart a little bit. So I'm going in with my spray bottle. And as you guys can see, you can see the difference with it picked apart. And then just also what it looked like if you wanted to wear it without messing with it. But I just think it looks better picked apart a little bit. Now the density on this is really good. And of course, once I started to fluff it up, it did start to get a little bit bigger. Now I do want to kind of control the frizz on this. So I am going to go in also with my Garnier Fruity Sleep and Shine Leaf in that way it will define it a little bit and it will also control the freeziness on this hair putting the leave-in conditioner and just running my fingers throughout the hair i did run across some shedding it was not a lot of shedding but the shedding was definitely there especially because the curls were so tight and i did pick them apart now i wasn't sure about this color but the color is really pretty i do wish that the color would have started a little bit higher up but i do feel like once you wash it and condition it and define it a little bit more this is going to be really really cute so now I'm going to show you the headbands that they sent over. They sent over this really stretchy one. This is the ones that I really like. They kind of crisscross over. I think that these are wide enough to hide the band. So I prefer these when wearing my headband wigs. This is what headband style one is looking like and i really like the way that this one is looking i did have to play around with the headband a little bit just to get it to sit correctly and hide the headband that comes with the wig but once i fluff it up and as you guys can see the curls have dried down a little bit i did not put too much water to where it was soaking wet now this one once again is in the length 18 inches. You can choose different lengths on the website and they also offer this in 130%. But I do think that the 150% on this is good. As you guys can see, this is going to look good in a ponytail. Ooh, that ponytail looks really, really good. So now I'm just gonna move on to the next headband. While this band is very pretty, this is not a favorite of mine at all. It does not stretch enough and it felt really tight and uncomfortable on my head. And on top of that, I do not feel that it conceals the black part of the headband at all. So I had to kind of pull it forward, but it just was too much exposed. But I did want to show you guys this option. And then I'm going to end up putting back on the other headband that I have because I do want to do a half of half down style. I 
guys know the headband wigs are definitely trending right now because of how easy and convenient they are. You don't have to worry about messing them up. I don't think that anybody can mess up any of these headband wigs. So you don't have to worry about tearing lace. You don't have to worry about your lace slipping and sliding back. You don't have to worry about melting anything down. And you don't technically have to show any of your hairline. So that's what I love about them. So my cons when it comes to this unit is that the unit is just extremely too big on my head. I wanted to do a um, top knot bun, but the wig was just too big in the back and I could not get it together. So I can only show the down style and the half up half down style. So guys, let me know what you think about this curly ombre unit. If you are feeling it, I'm gonna make sure to leave the link down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.